we just left our, 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 low, our high school, go out in high school. Now we're about to go around the way where um, Kiss Block is. You know what I'm saying? My block too. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, there's Kiss stomping grounds right now. Any given like Friday night, you can just catch all my niggas that's out here just, just chilling. You know what I mean? Yeah, what's up, man? Luke. All day. Yeah. It's the hood, baby. A lot of things happen on this corner. All down here. This is your wall burn right now. Oh, this whole strip is wall burn. We take this all the way down. Yeah, man. Rough Riders, if you stop right now, mm -hmm. it's had the studio up in there. That's the building right here. This whole building is this. If you can see that sign on the side, that's the Rough Riders studio. Believe it or not, down here, it looks, you know, real nice. It's some suburbia and all that. This used to be one of those spots you just come through when it's, when it's sunny out. And this floss down there, because it's crowded. Both sides of the streets. This, from there, down there, it used to have the uh, Black Heritage Days. Like the festivals, but you know what I mean? And this whole strip, man, just crazy, crazy. Like outside, like it looks like this, but it's a lot of little inner buildings in there. It's all here. I grew up in that building right there. Still got the apartment in that building. Still got that in there. You might see one of my family members come out of it. Right there, in that one right there. Um, and I had the scattered friends all through here, man. It's like, I don't know how many buildings. But this is the first unit, and down there is the second unit. I grew up right in this building right here. We're one of, you know, over across town, everywhere. Oh. Yeah, so right now we're in Getty Square. This is like where all the kids come after school. This is where their buses let off at. And they do all that, you know? Good thing it ain't too, too crowded out here. D block. D block. What up, baby? baby? All day. All day, baby. Yeah, so. The little kids come, like, you know, at the school. This is, yeah, meet me in the square. And, and they bag the girls. If they got their fresh gear on, they can't wait to come here and showcase it. You know what I mean? And show. Your favorite spots, coach, you and your guys what? coming down here. Coming down here? I don't know. I just, honestly, I just left here just getting breakfast this morning over here. In the galaxy and all that, you know? Used to meet, it, all this shit looked so different, man. It was a clock over here before, you know what I mean? They tore that down. They had all the bums sleeping in there. So now it's just all, you know, what up, y'all? All the kids, like, they just coming from school. You know what I mean? Yeah. Huh? On the who? On the average thing, man, how often do these people How often do these people see us? A lot of these kids, not really a lot. You know what I'm saying? Besides, um, whenever we come through and you know get our breakfast in here, you know what I mean, and do whatever. You might go to fish store, jewelry store, get your shit cleaned up or whatever. Um, you know what I mean? It's just little shops and all that, which they trying to move a lot of people out to get whatever going. You know, like that. What do you mean by that? Like they're trying to move a lot of the black-owned businesses out of here. The little ones they got going, the barber shops, this and that. They're trying to get them out and push everything out that way, so, you know, it's this real crazy. You know, they got the waterfront down here, like I was telling you earlier. So they're trying to, you know, trying to move us out. They're trying to move us out, the black home businesses. Clear as day, man. And they're doing it. My homie Jay Hood. You know what I'm saying? This dude at the locks, our fourth member, you know what I mean? So we catch him out everywhere. He gonna flow with us and tell his stories. Tell mm -hmm. with us. Uh -huh. You seen my hood over there with Whitney Young? Let's go to see where um, the great Mary J. Blige is from, you know what I mean? What project those are over there. Slow bomb, let's go. This is it. Like I said, cause you know, everybody tell you the stories of where everybody's from and all that. Nah. And Jay, this is juicy. No doubt, no doubt, baby. Yes, yes. yes. You see, that's, that's, that's real hood love, man. These other rappers can't come through their hood and just do it, you know what I mean? It ain't safe. They nervous. 
all this right here is like, you know, where Mary J. Blige and all them from. You know, and you see the whole so TV all right. What's up, baby? All right? Yeah, it's all right, you know? Tell them where you rapping, baby. Yeah, see? Yeah, what you're seeing right now is the, is the Nepahan Community Center where Jada Kiss is heavily involved at with the after school programs for the kids. He put up the courts right here. You know what I'm saying? For all the kids, they're like, he have the summer league, the midnight basketball league going on. So, you know, all the, all the hoods and, you know, come through and they get in the tournaments, you know. And it's real dope, man. Get a kid something to do. Oh, shit, man. Yeah, we here. Still on our grind, still running around. You hear all the phones, you hear all the phones ringing. Niggas is filthy. What up? Niggas can't wait to go home and change and chill and just get ready to go What's out poppin'? for the night. Niggas is bling blinging, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Bling, nah, bling, 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 bling about me, baby. Um, today the album drop. We're going around the retail stores, congratulating people okay. for stocking it and selling it, and taking pictures with them and signing okay. autographs. And um, we're about to go do um, syndicated <laughs> radio with my man T Dog Terrence. It's gonna be a good, good day, good day. We got an after party later on tonight. Let me, let me, cause I, I know, I don't think Mike is coming. <laughs> hey, yo, what's up, Pat? Shut out of here. Yeah. Nah, this nigga just put this camera all in my face. That's the mysterious hit. <laughs> He's just so mysterious. <laughs> let me call Pete. Give me a couple of minutes. Oh, boy. I'm back Before the album drop, we've been on the road for a month. Yeah. He's been, we've been on the road for a month doing the big right. everywhere. The whole East Coast standing it down. As soon as we came back, straight to work again. Thanks to all of the cities that we went to, yo, on the promo tour. Right. Show. That's wild, love. All the DJs, all the people they still that call. appreciated us in their town. We appreciated the love, man. Touching everybody out there, chilling. That was cool, man. That was great. That was great. Get us back out there, man. Call your local stations, get our shit played. Call the promoters, tell them that you want to see us in there performing again. All of that shit. Go to the retail store, sell them a stock up on our shit. You want to see everything that we got to buy so you can cop it. And we'll just move in for a fucking month or something. Be right there with y'all. How's it feel to have y'all, man? Uh... Right. I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited, definitely. Under these situations, under everything. I, I, love, the, I love the product. I love everything about it. No, what's, no regrets. What, well, what's different to you about from being on a major? A whole lot. It's hands on. You write, cut the check, you, you send it out, you approve it. You uh, you know what I'm saying? You, you know what I mean? It's like you know where your money is being spent at, as opposed to them telling you, yo, we spent a hundred thousand on this, and you wondering like where? I ain't, I ain't see a hundred thousand of what? You didn't do nothing. When you when you in controlling that million or a hundred thousand or one dollar, you is you know what I'm saying? It's, it's better. You know what I mean? You know, you meet your street team. You meet these. You meet your people. These dudes, they, you know, you got these people that say they're working for you. They probably threw all your flyers in the garbage, and they got a check for it. You know what I mean? So it's just more hands-on. It's just like what we're used to, like from back in the days, man. Everybody was involved, like one big family. Everybody know what each other's doing and got each other's back. It's way better like this, man. You don't get caught up with release dates too much, and if you're on that date, you gotta come out, or they're gonna put you on the show, or they're just gonna switch focus to the next artist because you missed your date. You know, like you have time to really, really build a project, man. If you're not feeling it, push that shit right back. Fuck it, man, until you get it right, so. It's just way better, man. So